In part 5 of the Customizing a Graph tutorial, I will show you how to customize a grouped data plot. So let me first begin by creating one. I'll highlight the entire worksheet and then create a line plot. I'm going to double click on the x-axis and modify the scale values from 0 to 3. I'm then going to set the rescale to manual. This prevents the from and to values from changing. If I double click somewhere inside the layer above the line plots, the plot details dialog will open with the layer as the active graph element. On the scale tab, I'm going to select auto for the offset. I now need to rescale the axes, which will just rescale the y-axis and leave the x because I had set that scale to manual. If I click on any one of the data plots, it will select the entire group. I can then use the line border color button on the standard toolbar to change the incremental color list. Though these data plots have been grouped, you can customize each of them by clicking once and then clicking again. I can now change the color for just this yellow plot. I can also customize the colors by double-clicking on one of the plots, which opens up the plot details to the Group tab. You'll see the line color is set to increment by 1. If I click in the Details box, I'll see this little Browse button. It will open the Increment Editor, and then I can change the colors individually this way as well. I can also drag and drop to reorder the colors. Click OK when I've made my changes. Well, in the increment editor, if I want to save my changes, so save my own incremental color theme, I can right click and choose Save. give it some name, click OK, and at a later time with a later graph, if I wanted to load this theme, I could right-click here, and in the load list, it'll show up as the first theme. OK, let's go back to Book 3 and create another type of graph. It's a multi-curve plot. I'm going to create a waterfall. This is another type of stacked or offset plotting, kind of a pseudo 3D graph. I'm going to double click on the x-axis and again modify my from and to values. For the y scale, I want to change the from and to as well. Now to set the colors, again clicking will select the entire group and I can use the style toolbar to apply a different palette. If I wish by double clicking that will get me into the plot details dialog again and notice the line color is set to bend. Colors are picked from the 256 available in the rainbow palette. I'm going to click on the browser button to open the increment editor again. And if I right click, I can load different palettes. The one I'm going to load is actually cut off a bit. And when I click OK, 
you see the changes in the colors, click OK again, and you see the update to the graph. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.